So I'm going to be talking about an important experiment that helped us discover that DNA was the one that contained genetic information. This experiment was done by Hershey and Chase. So what they did was they took a bacterial phage, or a phage for short, and for those of you who don't know, a phage essentially infects a cell by injecting viral DNA into it, or injecting their, uh, their disease or virus into the cell. And after that, the disease inside the cell turns into, or the DNA inside the cell turns into more phages, and they further replicate and then infect the cell more. Um, but they didn't know back then that DNA was the one that contained the genetic information. So they wanted to see what was being transmitted inside the cell. So what was carrying the genetic information? So to do this, they obtained one phage. This is what it looks like. It's essentially a hexagon with spider-like legs, and DNA is inside the middle. Then they labeled two things. So one thing that they could do is they labeled amino acids. What I mean by label is they attach a fluorescence to the amino acid. And what this does is under certain lights or UV lights, you can see the fluorescence and it's a way of essentially just tracking where your labeled thing is, or in this case, where the labeled amino acids are. And since proteins make up DNA, or proteins, sorry, make up, are made up of amino acids, then the outside layer of the phage, since it's made by protein, is going to light up with fluorescence. I'm going to draw this in red, or I drew this in red, and DNA is in black. The next thing that they could do is they could label the nucleotide. So when you label, when you label nucleotides, since DNA is composed of nucleotides, the DNA is going to be the one that lights up with fluorescence, as opposed to the proteins on the outside, which would be normal, uh, which is why I drew it in black. Next, they're going to put, the, put it into, uh, it says put in bacteria, but what it, in, what it should mean is put it into a cell or infect the cell, and then they're going to shake it and then observe the results. So let me draw a cell and then draw some phages attached to the cell. So what the phage is doing in this case is it hooked on to the membrane of the cell, and I'm not drawing... DNA inside the phage because the DNA got transmitted inside. So in this case, we're using the labeled amino acid one or the labeled protein and the normal black DNA is going to be on the inside. Then the DNA on the inside or the infected DNA then turns into phages inside the cell. They replicate and then it continues to further infect the cell and kill it. Next, what they did was they took another, they took another cell took more phages, but in this case, the labeled phage is the nucleotide. So the nucleotides are labeled with the fluorescence. This means that the protein is just going to be black while the DNA will be red or labeled with fluorescence. So when the phage attaches, injects its DNA, and then the phages are made on the inside of the cell, the cells are the phages with the labeled DNA is going to light up under light. UV light. Afterwards they shook it. So this is important because the outside, everything that's not inside the cell is called the supernatant and everything inside the cell is called inside the cell. And in order to get the phage or get the protein of the phage to hook off of the membrane, they have to shake it. So when they shake it, you can see characterized by these arrows that the phage is falling off of the membrane. Now they can analyze it. So when they analyze it, it kind of looks like this. So if you look at the result, what is labeled or what is highlighted is the red. So the red is the supernatant, and that's everything outside of the cell. So the fluorescence lights up, which means that what it's saying is that the labeled amino acids are not inside the cell. So something else is inside the cell. So they took the results from the second cell that they infected and saw that the labeled nucleotides were inside the cell, or the labeled DNA is inside the cell. And on the outside, you just have the normal phages uh, in the supernatant. So what did they conclude from all this? What they concluded is that DNA is a carrier of genetic information. How they came to that conclusion 
is through analyzing the fluorescence and what was labeled after the bacterial phage infected the cell. So DNA was transmitted inside the cell and they clearly saw that because it was labeled. And that's essentially the Hershey and Chase experiment. And it was one of the biggest experiments in analyzing or studying the conclusion that DNA is a carrier genetic information.